Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Tatami Galaxy episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode, it was another amazing episode. We got to meet the Society of Bees where like, you know, there's this queen and uh, like, you know, queen bee who like, uh, and the worker bees. I I'm not sure about like, you know, the whole working of the bee society, but I think it's something like this where like the workers kind of like, you know, tirelessly work and all. And the whole environment was so, so toxic in my opinion, like how they were kind of like, you know, killing their emotions and kind of like smiling like this and like you know like kind of doing stuff and like not complaining doing nothing always smiling and like whenever like and then the, when they go go to this kind of like the the press conference or whatever happened there you know and there was there with this in this room and they were kind of like you know lashing out and like uh, you know expelling all the pent up frustrations and stress just so that they can kill their emotions again and go back to work like such a what do you call it like such a like weird toxic type of an environment of a workplace like imagine like going to a workplace like this each and every day you're going to get tired out and stressed out and that's not like bad and i'm glad like you know like uh, and also th this time it was like the main character as he said himself that it's probably my fault this time and um you know Ozu saved him this like you know the previous episode like that's in a way so <laughs> like you know it's kind of a different thing that happened like as like you know as we are accustomed to the pattern it usually goes where like you know he gets into this problem and then he chooses wrong opportunities and also is always kind of like messing with him but in the previous episode was not like that it was a completely different thing so yeah and the time got reversed again and so let's see what happens this time with path, which path he chooses this time and whether he realizes that the opportunity that he is dangling in front of him he should grab it if he realizes that and i'm guessing the fortune teller will increase her money to 6000 yen this episode <laughs> let's wait and see what happens so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number six of tatami galaxy so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What the? What the? Wait. Three women. Decided one of them? What the? What's this situation? Haruki-san is here. What the? Kaori. Who is the other person talking? Keiko. Who? What's Hanuki-san doing here? What's happening? <laughs> what is this? Some kind of... Like... Uh... Oh my god. And who is the other person talking with him? Like, he's in the toilet, isn't he? <laughs> wow, the way yeah, each and every episode starts are so good, like, you know? Okay, let's see which club he chose this time. He says that there are like three girls. Like, he has to choose one of them.
Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> the voting man. Okay. Spare the risk. Oh no! <laughs> what? So he chose different clubs this time? What? Let's see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. Just like how this anime subtitles go, you know? <laughs> okay, all right. You'll be a strike person. Okay, who is this girl? One of those girls? The three girls? Oh, this Hanuki? <laughs> Dental hygienist. Wow, dental IQ. What? <laughs> Common acquaintance. Oh, Ozu. <laughs> Never completely heals, okay. What? <laughs> oh my god. That's his hobby? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Okay. Wow, that's helpful. Oh, you're gonna charge for that? <laughs> Print shop. Four. Oh, damn, that's bad. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right, definitely. Okay, go for it. Wow! <laughs> wow, amazing! Okay. Oh no. What? Oh, what? Okay. Oh no. There you go. Wait, what? It's...
Is he talking? She's talking about Higuchi, isn't she? Please. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Mystery hot pot. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So, oh, the mochi, mochi. Oh. What? What? Oh no, so this is the... Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's quite accurate. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Cafe buddy. Last day? What? Oh, what? Oh no! Damn, this is a dilemma! The oh god! Oh my <laughs> Yeah But yeah obviously the opportunity is 6000 yen <laughs> You're not grabbing the opportunity like what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> damn, damn. Oh no, I remember this scene. In the previous episode, they kind of talked about this, the whole drinking competition. Oh my god. But it was Higuchi at that moment. But this time it's Jogasaki and him. What is- oh my god, they're drinking too much. 
Iya. Damn. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Damn, he completely got knocked out. Yeah. Damn. Like, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the the choice. Here, here it comes. But what what about the other girl who was who's supposed to be in the cafe? Who is that talking in the background? What the? Who is that talking? What the who is this? Johnny? <laughs> okay, Johnny, <laughs> all right. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> okay, keep your Johnny in control. <laughs> wow, this is something. Chivalrous. <laughs> Johnny is not listening to anything. He's having the time of his life. <laughs> Damn, he's like. Okay. Read your palm? Oh no! No! <laughs> oh my god! The inside of his head! Amigda! <laughs> Oh my god! Pure <laughs> 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 art. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> it's my turn, wow, Johnny. What the? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> what the? Oh! Okay. 
Oke. Okay. What? <laughs> What the? Imagine the shelter in the... Okay. It's a cockroach! <laughs> oh my... Johnny doesn't care. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> um I am still not sure. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Damn the Yeah. I despise this sort of thing. Wow. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Johnny, please understand. Yeah. A little while longer. Damn, Johnny! Hmm. Oh no, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's why. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Higuchi. Where, where's Akashi san? Hmm. Oh yeah, forgot about them completely. Akashi san is still not. <laughs> Keep hanging in there, Johnny. A few hours ago. Oh! There was no Akashi-san in this episode, what? Oh no, like, her presence is getting... is dwindling by each episode. Oh god, this guy, he is completely forgetting about his actual priorities and completely like going haywire in different directions like this episode didn't even show her oh no like i can kind of see the pattern here like the first episode akashi-san had a lot of screen time and then it got dwindling and dwindling it reduces 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 the previous episode had a little bit of her occurrence and this episode she was not even shown And the opportunity, he is not grabbing it. Like, thank God the opportunity is still there, still dangling in front of him. I'm a little bit concerned as to whether we would see an episode where that opportunity is also gone, you know? That Mochizu, Mochizu man or that squishy toy. Like, I can kind of 
like this episode i'm sure like he met akashi san and found that but like you know he was so uh, like occupied by different things that he didn't even think about her at all that's why she was not shown in this episode but he met him definitely i'm sure about that otherwise where would he get that thing from okay is that the end yeah like otherwise where would he even get that uh, mochiz mochizu man or that squishy toy where would he even get that from that means he met definitely met her this episode but he found it like you know he didn't even mention her because he was so occupied with the other things like oh god this is going in a bad direction i think i don't know like i really hope in the next episode like akashi san comes back again this is the sixth episode isn't it so yeah like it's like you know the first episode was kind of him thinking about how to like you know uh, interact with akashi san and everything like talk with her and higuchi kind of said that uh like you know there's these two people like ozu and you who should i join her like you know red string with and all of these kind of stuff and then like it kind of like he he was the most like you know he uh like he was mostly focused on akashi san in the first episode then it starts reducing 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 and in today's episode we barely even saw her we didn't even see her not even barely we didn't see her at all in this episode we just saw her uh toy that's just it like he was so kind of like engrossed with all the other things now okay so this episode i'm i don't know how but how did uh what's the name Gaudi, uh, what was the name of the uh, doll? Just a sec. Gaudi, yeah, Gaudi. Gaudi, and who was the name? What's the name of the girl who was uh, writing letters? Gaudi and uh, Keiko. Okay, Gaudi, Keiko. Their name was so similar, I kind of like. Uh, I'm mixing them up. Okay, I don't know where they came from. You know, like Kaori was Jogasaki Senpai's doll, wasn't he? Uh, wasn't she? So I'm not even sure how he got him, uh, got her, and I don't even know who Keiko is. And like obviously we knew Hanuki, who Hanuki was. Now <clears throat> there's a really unique thing about this episode is like we see, <clears throat> like you know, um. Uh, what's his name uh, the main character like him he is probably in the shoes of either uh, higuchi or jogasaki in a way uh, he's probably in the shoes of higuchi you know in this episode because we see how <coughs> like the he and jogasaki had that kind of a battle between the drinking battle and he won like that was kind of implied in uh not the previous but the episode before that where we get the, the proxy war episode where we see where he uh, <clears throat> like you know they kind of recollect their mem like you know they kind of say that <clears throat> there was this <clears throat> girl we were fighting for and like you know and then we had a drinking competition and it kind of became a completely different thing and we have the proxy one now and at that moment i kind of said that maybe the girl is uh, like you know hanuki i'm probably correct because this episode kind of confirms that as we see like you know them them kind of like digging it out, uh, out with each other like jogasaki and uh, the main character and <clears throat> where how she says that you know like i i have a, like a love and hate relationship with this person who has this thing obviously that's uh, implying that it's higuchi so like you know and how like the main character kind of is like walking in his shoes in a way uh, after they had the, had this like you know the uh, uh, drinking battle and everything and uh, like i'm so so that's correct wasn't i like the girl was her and it, it was like in the proxy bar episode how we see like higuchi loses and jogasaki winning and then like you know uh, hanuki kind of rejecting uh, higuchi to like do the world and then going along with uh, jogasaki uh, like to go for a drink uh, that really implies that you know like she chose jogasaki in the proxy bar episode so <clears throat> yeah even though she says in this episode that it's not like nothing like that with jogasaki it's just that they're friends but you know and uh like in this episode like hanuki was a lot more like reliant on the main character than all, all the others like 
you know like i'm not sure like probably something like they could have gotten like you know uh, in a relationship if this like it proceeded in a more um like you know like normally like if this proceeded more normally it could have been something different like how he said like like just let me go back some hours in the past unfortunately he'll definitely forget about it so he's going to choose a new path after like you know getting back reverted back in time so yeah but still like i don't know i think probably this could have been like one potential route uh but like you know if he kind of stuck with it like if he like like this doesn't did not revert back in time he could have probably went to hanuki kind of talked with her while she's sober and something might have happened uh like far down the road but i don't think this like you know this show is about hanuki and him this show is about akashi and him most probably at least i think so so yeah like so that's not how this is going to go it, there might be a parallel world who knows like this as show is a completely like you know uh, uh, has such a unique setting it's like a multiverse type of a uh, show where like we see him kind of like reverting back in time taking choosing a different path branching into a parallel world and kind of going and then like getting stuck again reverting back and choosing a new path so i'm guessing there might be like you know a parallel world where this could have happened like you know like that's like that's what parallel worlds are different choices different decisions and different outcomes so <clears throat> it is a potential uh, i'm guessing route for him but i don't think this is going to happen because i'm pretty sure this is about him and akashi san and osu like it won't divert from that now we met a new character here uh, <laughs> what was his name johnny yes johnny my god johnny was a surprise this episode Wow, I was seeing him in the like you know opening for quite a while. I was thinking, who the hell is this even? Like, is this some kind of a cartoon? Uh, Johnny turned out to be something completely different, and like the innuendos in this episode. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> I have to say, like this is something. Like you know, like the whole thing with <laughs> while she was inserting the key. Johnny was kind of getting. <laughs> Okay, I won't uh, like. I, I, <laughs> that was something I have to say. Like, <laughs> okay, and then like you know, <clears throat> this was a really like fun episode. I have to say, it was so good. I really loved this episode, even though it did not have Akashi San and you know Ozu had a very less screen time and like no, none of the characters had much screen time this episode. Like it, it was only him and Hanuki this episode as he was like you know really like, recollecting everything that happened and uh, like in the beginning when she was he was saying that you know like oh i have to choose between three like you know ladies i was thinking what type of club did he even join you know like that he has to choose between three ladies or what what club is that and then i kind of understood like you know when the, as the story went on i realized that okay like it's not as it seems it's just that like you know hanuki is probably the main girl here but the other two person were kind of like one is a doll and the other one is a person who he has never even met like who knows like that could have been a guy you know <laughs> like, <laughs> like you've not even seen her so like yeah, the main person was hanuki i was thinking like where these does these two people even come from and so like yeah and i don't know why like uh what was this uh, what was her name Ke cake or no the doll what was the name of the doll Kaori. Kaori. like uh, i don't know how he even got hands on Kaori, and you know like why is it even going to be snatched away from him who is going to snatch her away from him like nothing was explained and you know uh, we were also not like shown what happened to keiko after she said that i'm going to uh, wait for her in the cafe we don't even know that so like this is kind of not uh, explained i am not sure maybe we're probably going to see something related to this in the upcoming episodes i'm not sure like we might see you know something like this like who knows but yeah just like how we kind of uh like we already are acquainted with kaori from jogasaki senpai's episode so probably like in the, one of the future episodes we also might meet keiko who knows like i'm not sure but anyways and uh, Okay, one thing. Just a sec. Um, Ozu here. Um, I'm I'm trying to find out. 
Okay, there he is. He says that he has a common acquaintance with Hanuki, and like Hanuki says that Ozuku and are you in the uh, like you're in the same class. He's a patient at our practice. Uh, every time, like you know, I'm fixing her up, he reverses him. He reverses back, com complete and never heals. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> the main character says that it's just his ploy. And here's the and here's the thing, like when they're talking about, I didn't notice this before, <clears throat> when they're talking about Ozu, someone gets into the cafe, you know, <laughs> that must be Ozu. Now he is recollecting his <clears throat> memories about Ozu, how he met Ozu and you know, how he got cajoled into the print shop and everything. And yeah, he is like bad mouthing Ozu. And then he says that he would have had a lot better life if Ozu was not there. Just a sec. Where is that potion? I cannot find it. Okay, here we go. I kind of found it. I was not finding that potion. Yeah, well, Ozu can be a bit devoted as well. <coughs> there you go. And like, then we see like Ozu coming in and like, you know, pushing that thing. And uh, she says that you haven't heard about Ozu-kun's love. Here we go. And Ozu is behind him, kind of like doing it like this. Okay, he, here it is. Ozu-kun is in love with someone right now. This person has left a sheltered life and he's living quite... Oh, he's having quite a... He, okay, so it's a male. Okay, I was thinking, is, is this someone else? Uh, oh no, wait a minute. His partner has led a sheltered life. So he, Oh no, no, he's not, it's not a male. Okay. He's living quite, uh, having quite a lot of trouble. He's talking about, uh, like, the he here is referring to Ozu, okay. He told me to keep it a secret, though. Okay, like, Hanuki, like, I think the translation here, it kind of got lost in translation here. But just a sec. No, it's written here. Her, his partner has led a sheltered life. Okay. I cannot point my fingers at it, but I think we've not met this bad character. I'm not sure. Like, a sheltered life. Did we even meet a girl who had led a sheltered life in this anime? I don't think so. I don't know. Like, these are like a few mysteries that, like, I'm, I'm guessing, like, this is also probably going to be answered later on. Like, who is this person? Probably. Or maybe, like, who knows? I don't know. But anyways, like, it was really funny, uh, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, a funny scene where we see, like, them talking about Ozu, and Ozu was, like, you know, behind, like, it was, like, as, as he said, like, it's, like, Ozu is, like, a devil who is always haunting me, just, like, you know, like, and then, like, when, uh, like, he sat down, Ozu kind of, like, you know, pushed the chair, and, like, uh, like, when they were talking about him, he was kind of, like, uh, covering his face and all, <laughs> like, it was fun, like, funny kind of a thing. And then, like, uh, I don't know, like, you know, like, like uh, Hanuki kind of said that I have, uh, like, you know, this kind of love and his relationship with, I'm guessing that was Higuchi he, she was talking about. And then there's this whole, uh, like, how she, like, you know, was kind of down and she was not uh, in the best of moods. And, like, she's, like, asked him to go drinking with uh, her. But, like, you know, the dilemma as he thought that, like, she had two other choices, but he could not. Uh, grab a chance like choice and uh, he goes to the <laughs> fortune teller again and she like you know she says that okay like you have three choices here whereas there's an opportunity dangling in front of you not taking hold of that I don't know like like you know she, it seemed like she <laughs> like that was fun like he's she says that you are currently having difficulty choosing between three things but opportunity is always dangling before your eyes, you know, like, like, why are you going towards those choices? The opportunity is in front of your eyes. Why not? Why are you not like, you know, taking that? And that will be 6,000 yen. She's like tired of it. She's like, she has been kind of saying it for the past six episodes, past five episodes, that there's an opportunity in front of you and you're like always kind of diverting into different things. So she didn't even bother telling anything. She knew like this, like, you know, this run, this, like this route, this path is also doomed. So she says that, okay, like uh, I'm telling you, there's an opportunity. Keep that in mind. And that will be 6,000 yen. <laughs> 
I kind of said it in the previous episode, but like, uh, like who knows? He like uh, as the money is increasing, he might get snapped back into reality and remember everything. When like you know, he might suddenly f- like think that wait a minute, doesn't this like fortune teller uh, like uh, like the price for the first time wasn't it one thousand yen? Why is it like seven thousand or eight thousand yen now? Isn't it like increasing? And which might make him realize that he is like you know repeating this <laughs> route. That would be funny if something like that happened, like you know. But anyways, and then they meet again, like Keiko, uh, not Keiko, sorry, um, Hanuki, and like they see the Joga Saki Senpai is also there. Then the like you know fated fight happens, the drinking like battle where like Joga Saki loses and Hanuki takes her with him, uh, uh, takes him with her. And they again drink, they go to the, like, you know, uh, their place, and Johnny wakes up. <laughs> Johnny says, it's my time, finally. And Johnny is all happy and everything, but you know, <laughs> when, like, things start to become so uncomfortable, uh, he, he decides, like, you know, his brain and everything decides to push the emergency button, and the emergency button is run to the toilet and say that it, there's a cockroach here. Like he screams that there's a cockroach and runs to the toilet and there he has a heart to heart talk with Johnny. Johnny understands that okay like you know maybe I was a bit a little bit too like uh, you know rash maybe I was like uh, kind of rushing things and Johnny kind of says that okay I've waited for so long I'll wait again and he's like you know lies down and kind of cries into sleep and <laughs> and the main character also like goes to sleep in the toilet and that was funny that was like the whole inner windows and everything was so damn well done in this episode oh my god that was something i I really like you know enjoyed this episode (laughs) and then they like you know go to um like you know ozu comes in and he kind of explains how like she is like this with everyone like like that's why she kind of drinks with people who he's close with so that it does not like you know become some kind of awkward mess and he says like like Hanuki went to the convenience store toilet and she's there and something and you know and uh, then like the main character goes back to his room he sees the mo- like you know the squishy toy but he does not recollect his uh, meeting with uh, Akashi-san and like you know and then like he says that I, I should probably like it would have been great if I can kind of revert time and go back a few hours and that's what happens so yeah <laughs> like, this is a really um, good episode i have to say like i was i really enjoyed it the whole like you know like the double meaning thing the innuendos and all and like the way kind of they kind of like you know showed it <laughs> johnny <laughs> that was good so <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This was um, uh, Tatum Galaxy episode number. Uh, I forgot the episode number. What was this? Six? Yeah, six. Episode number six. <laughs> so I love this episode. This was amazing. So uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Also, comment down below if you want to say anything. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah guys, uh, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tatami Galaxy. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.